Regency Centers recently made a lot of headlines after it announced it would buy out one of its close peers called Urstark Beetle Properties. These are both REITs that invest in service-oriented grocery anchorage strip centers that generate very consistent and predictable cash flow that's even recession resistant. This has led to a lot of you asking me if I think that Regency Centers could be a good buying opportunity today. And secondly, a lot of people also ask me to compare it to Federal Realty Trust, which is one of its close peers. Which is the best buying opportunity today. Hey everyone, this is UFC. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna compare these two blue chip retail REITs, Regency Centers and Federal Realty Trust. I'm going to explain to you why I slightly prefer Federal Realty Trust in today's market environment, despite being bullish on both of them. But before I get into it, if you could please make me a huge favor and like this video, it will really help me to grow this channel. And so I really appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. So why do I prefer Federal Realty Trust? Here I want to start by making clear that I don't have a a strong preference. I own a position in both REITs, so clearly I'm bullish on both. These are high quality blue chip type REITs with a very strong investment grade rated balance sheets. They own class A retail properties that are service oriented, that are even Amazon and recession resistant. They have good track records with strong management teams. They have attractive growth prospects. And then the valuations of both REITs are today very reasonable. But there are three reasons why I slightly prefer Federal Realty Trust in today's market. The first reason is its track record. Federal Realty Trust has one of the best track records in the entire REIT sector. It has a multi-decade history of very significant market outperformance. It also has the longest dividend growth streak of any REIT at 55 years, I believe. So it's hard to do better than Federal Realty Trust in terms of track record. Regency Centers also has a decent track record. So I don't mean to say that this is a poorly managed REIT. I think that the management is great here, but it has not performed quite as well. Its growth has historically been slower. It was also forced to cut its dividend during the great financial crisis because it has too much leverage. And I don't think that this is a coincidence. I think that Federal Realty Trust probably has a slightly better management team. They also have a better business model that generates more value for shareholders. Federal Realty Trust is famous for the fact that they have a very active investment strategy. So they'll buy a retail property, they'll then change the tenants, increase rents, make improvements, then densify it by building apartments or office space on top of it. They have a lot of strategies to really maximize the value of their assets. Regency Centers is not passive either. It's also following some of these strategies, but relatively speaking, they're not quite as active. And this is reflected in their past track record of slower growth. Then the second reason why I slightly prefer Federal Realty Trust is the quality of its assets, which is in my opinion, slightly superior to that of Regency Centers. Here, I'll put a chart somewhere on the screen that will compare the properties of Regency Centers and Federal Realty Trust by population density, as well as medium household income. And you'll see that from from both perspective, Federal Realty Trust is quite a bit ahead of Regency Centers. And also note here that the average population density of Regency Centers is actually going to get a bit worse following its recent acquisition. I think that this is especially important as we potentially go into a recession because it's typically the lower income household that are the hardest hit by recession. It's forcing them to scale down their spending. They're going to trade down to less expensive items. And so Regency Centers could be potentially more affected here than Federal Realty Trust. Then more more evidence that the properties of Federal Realty Trust are slightly superior is the lease agreements. Federal Realty Trust has on average 3% annual rent hikes in its leases. Regency Centers, on the other hand, is closer to 2%. I think that the reason why they're able to include so much higher rent hikes in their leases is simply because their properties are even more desirable. They have a longer list of potential tenants to fill up the space. And so they have more bargaining power as the landlord. And then finally, the third reason why I slightly prefer Federal Realty Trust is its valuation. It's slightly lower than that of Regency Centers, despite having this better track record and slightly better assets. I'll put a table here on the screen to show you the differences in the valuation multiples, their FFO multiple, their price to NAV, their dividend yield as well. You'll see here that the difference is not massive, but the point is that the company is slightly cheaper despite owning better assets. And so here you might ask yourself, why is the market pricing it at a discount? I think that this is because Federal Realty Trust is today generating about 12% of its rental income from office 
office buildings. The REIT market hates office buildings. All office REITs are today very heavily discounted. And so since Federal Realty Trust has a little bit of exposure to it, it has discounted it as well. But here's why I think the market is wrong to do this. Well, first of all, it's just one tenth of the portfolio, which is not very significant. Then the second reason is that these are class A mixed use office buildings. They are the exact type of office buildings that remain desirable today as a lot of companies are scaling down the office footprint. But in the process, they are also moving to more modern and nicer mixed use buildings. So in many cases, you might have a company close down two or three of its class B older office buildings, and then they will shift all of that into a smaller space in a modern and new class A building. So this actually benefits the properties of Federal Realty Trust. Then its lease is also very long, which is going to protect the landlord Federal Realty Trust in the coming years, even if we go into recession, because the REIT only has about 5% of its office leases expire by 2030. And then finally, something that the market does not seem to value at all here is that Federal Realty Trust also generates about 12% of its rental income from apartments today. Apartments are doing really well. The cap rates of apartments are also a lot lower. And so I think this compensates for the risk of having a little bit of exposure to office buildings. And so for all these reasons, I think that the market is wrong to discount Federal Realty Trust. Today, it's a bit cheaper than Regency Centers. I think it should be the opposite. It should trade at a small premium to it, which has often been the case in the past because again, a much better track record, a much longer dividend growth streak, better growth prospects, higher quality assets, also a stronger balance sheet. Both have strong balance sheets, but the one of Federal Realty Trust is slightly better. And so again, these are all the reasons why I think that Federal Realty Trust is a slightly better investment opportunity today than Regency Centers. Now, if you want to learn more about what other REITs I'm buying at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter, High Yield Landlord, for a two-week free trial. It will give you immediate access to all my top picks for the coming years, as well as my real money REIT portfolio. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video for the free trial. And otherwise, again, if you could please like this video, that will help me a lot. Thank you very much for your support. See you at my next one. Bye-bye.